Welcome back. In this session, we are going to create a data factory resource via the Azure portal. Let's switch over to the Azure portal and get started. Here we are in the Azure portal. Come over to the top left menu and click create a resource. And that takes you to the Azure marketplace. Either you can find data factory under integration here, or you can simply search for data factory and click create. So now we need to fill in the form to create the data factory. Choose the subscription. For me, I've only got the free trial. And let's create a new resource group for this project and let's call it COVID reporting project RG. The idea is that I'll create all the resources for the project under this resource group. And once the project's finished, I can come and easily tidy up. And choose the region which is closest to you for production that is rule of thumb, but sometimes some of the Azure service not available in all the regions. So I prefer to choose East US for POC purpose. And let's name the data factory at COVID reporting project to learn ADF and choose the version as V2. V1's being deprecated. So V2 is the one we want to use and click next to get configuration. So you can hook up the data factory to Git and get all the features you get out of Git. Things like source control, configuration management, and things like that. But in this case, let's keep it simple and click configure Git later and click next to networking. Let's accept the default settings there and click next for advance. Let's accept the default settings there and click next for tags. I'm not putting any tags at the moment. And click review plus create. And that does some validations. And make sure the information here is as you expected and click create. And it's now doing the deployments and the deployment normally takes about a few seconds. So now the deployment's complete, click go to resource. And this is very similar to the other Azure resources. You will find the options here. Gives you the ability to do access control via IAM. You can do any networking configurations here and you can do monitoring as well. But the main thing here is Azure Data Factory Studio. Now, if you click on that one, that will take you to the Azure Data Factory Studio. So this is where you will be doing the development. So you got the author here and we got monitor. And this is the manage and that's the home or the overview tab. We'll look into these in more detail in the forthcoming session. But for now, let's go back to this and you've got a bit of tutorial as well. So if I click on that, that takes me to the learn.microsoft.com and there is a bunch of tutorial. I'd encourage you guys to go and read through those. And if I come back here, so one other thing I normally do is actually I pin any resources I create into a dashboard so that in the future I can come back and easily find them. So if you click on the pin, it brings up that one. So we don't have a dashboard, so let's create a dashboard and call it COVID reporting project dashboard. And let's do create and pin. And so now that's being pinned. So if you go over to the top left menu again and then click on dashboard, you'll see dashboard. So you can choose the dashboard we created just now, which is COVID reporting project. And we got our data factory here. So we will put all the resources we are going to create for this project under here so that we can quite easily find all those resources. Okay, that's the end of the session. I'll see you in the next one.